So today we're going to go over replacement of the NASCO IV arm. It applies to both the basic and the advanced arm. So they're very similar. These are all the supplies you want to have. Um, I like to use some super glue. You're going to see why. The um, dish soap that they uh, send with the trainer uh, replacement skin. Uh, ma masking tape or scotch tape. Um, scissors. A blow dryer. You're going to see why in a few months. And then of course your uh, IV arm and then replacement skin. First thing you want to do is cut off the shoelace that keeps this together. Zip off the skin. Be very careful that you don't cut yourself. Always cut away from yourself. Peel the skin off. Dispose of that. That way it's in a landfill for a few hundred years. And then the IV veins. Move some of the tape I had on there from before. You're gonna see why in a second. So, I'm gonna grab the new skin. Very tight, my is very well. And then more stuff to the landfill. And then, I'm gonna find the middle portion of this new tubing. So, bring them together here. Find that. There's a middle portion right there. I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue up here, just in the front part of the trail. I should be wearing gloves when I'm doing this because super glue is not fun to get stuck to, but I'm gonna be very careful. But highly recommend wearing gloves. And then just follow the trail here for the veins to sit inside. And while we're doing that, we're gonna use our scotch tape just to secure this down. This is just for when you're rolling the skin on because sometimes the veins can roll up as you're pulling the skin on. You're gonna see why in a second. So I probably put too much on, but that's just what I do. So. To come together. One more up here, just keep these where they need to be. All right. Now we're going to grab our dish soap. I'm going to plug this hair dryer in. So you won't see the hair dryer apart, but we're basically we're going to heat up the arm in this area here, um, and then it'll make it a little bit easier to slide on. Then I'm gonna apply the base or the lotion or the um, dish soap on here. So I'm inside of the arm. Use a lot. Don't be afraid to use this stuff. Make sure you spill it like I do. So good. Also, just a recommendation, only use distilled water with the blood mixture from whatever vendor you're using for the IV arm. Only distilled water. Now that we got the uh, wrist area heated up, I'm going to put some more of the dish soap in there. A lube. You know, it's much easier to get my hand in there with that area lubed up. Again, I want to use a lot. I'm make sure I spill that as many times as I can. Okay. I'm going to slide the hand in. Make sure you get it on the first time. Now, as you're guiding this on, you want to make sure to stop at um, the point where you can feel the fingers right there and then start slowly guiding it on with the fingers in their correct locations. Like that and just pull the skin up 
nice and tight. Then all you're gonna do is take the shoelace and sort of daisy chain it in here. Let it tie it on the inside if I can. Let them be fancy. That's it. That's replacement. Thank you.